Right, let's go and check. B, D, C, isosceles, yes, because the base angles are equal, right? Base angles are equal. Done. Then it says, express C, angle C, in terms of K. Hey, be careful here. You are expressing angle C means that angle in terms of K. Let me draw that for you separately to actually see. You have your triangle like that. Okay. You had a green line or a black line there. Let's see. The black line was like that. That BD line, please. We got this inside angle there as K. We got that angle also as K. What do you think of the top angle? In terms of K means sum of the three angles, 180. All right. So you add these two, take away from 180. What is K add K? Right? 2K. Okay. K add K is a 2K. From 180, you are taking 2K. Don't tell me you got 178K, right? You got it right, 180 minus 2K. You can do nothing. This itself is the answer. They are unlike terms, please. So that was BDC triangle story, right? That's what they asked you to find. Well, the last one says, <clears throat> prove that or show that OBCE is a cyclic quadrilateral. Right. Let's just check for OBCE, right? Where is O? Here. O, B, C, E. This one should be a cyclic quadrilateral. Talk to me. What is the definition of a cyclic quadrilateral? Come on. A circle must pass through the four points there. What if we don't see any uh, circle? Then you've got to think about the, the rules there, right? In a quadrilateral, say, in, in a four-sided figure, if the opposite angles add up to 180, you can consider that quadrilateral as a cyclic. Am I correct? Any quadrilateral, let's talk about a square. You know a square? Come on, square, right? All four sides, equal. All four angles, equal. How much is each angle in a square? It should be square. Come on, think. 90, 90, 90, 90. Add the opposite angles. How much do you get? 90 plus 90. How much? 180, right? Now, because the opposite angles are adding up to 180, you have a right to say, a square is a cyclic quadrilateral. Trust me, yes. If you draw a circle, it will pass through the four corners of that square. Definitely. Same thing happens to a rectangle. All four angles will be 90 each. So opposite angles add up to 180. So a square is a cyclic quadrilateral even though you did not see a circle passing through it. A rectangle also can be a cyclic quad quadrilateral because opposite angles add up to 180. It's enough, right? You don't have to really see a circle passing through. As long as the opposite angles add up to 180, you can consider that quadrilateral to be a cyclic quadrilateral. All right. So look at this drawing now. It says, prove that OBCE is a cyclic quadrilateral. Just close that part there. We don't we don't need OBCE. It's a quadrilateral. Please watch opposite angles. You got to add. Ignore the middle mess there. Right. Let's add 2K and the C. If you add those two, if you get 180, you are allowed to say this quadrilateral is nothing but a cyclic quadrilateral, right? Now, O is a 2K we know. What is C? We just found C here, watch. 
we just wrote C as 180 minus 2K, right? So let's just add those two. Angle O was a 2K, right? You're adding that to angle C. Angle C was 180 minus 2K. So right there, 180 minus 2K. What is happening to 2K, 2K? The 2K minus 2K, they get cancelled, become zero. You're left with 180. So when you're adding those two angles there, you are getting 180. So opposite angles add up to 180. And therefore, even though I'm not able to see a circle passing through those four points, I can say that it's a cyclic quadrilateral. That's how one needs to uh, express logical thinking, right? Need not necessarily see a circle passing through. It doesn't matter. Circle is not there. It's okay, right? Opposite angles add up to one, 180. You should be happy. All right, people? That's how one needs to prove that, okay? The last and final part of this cyclic quadrilateral, another a very nice question. We go over that, right? It's the, it's the last one now. It's the last one. Uh, you take, take, it, take your time. You watch this question first. Uh, you solve it on your own and then you can check the answers, right? It's on the screen there now. Uh, question, let's say page seven, and that's the final question, please, right? Two circles, not one. You are seeing two circles. We haven't done any question based on uh, circles intersecting, right? So I chose one question, safe side. Maybe they may ask you this kind of sums also, right? Study the information given, given to you, right? Given that angle Z equals to 70 degrees, let's go and check Z. That, that's not N, please. That, that's a Z. Z is 70, they told me in this question, in that question. So let's go and fill that as 70. 70, please. Right, that much is 70. Then it says, find all the possible angles giving valid reasons. Right, okay. Think about it nicely. Right, right. 